All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B, Bullet RC, coming at you guys again with yet another video. And listen, before we get started, I just want to let y'all know the brand new SummerSlam collection from Sample Industries is live and available right now. I got one of the tees on right here. As y'all can see, we're scrolling through new shorts. New tease, just letting y'all know, quick reminder, a link will be down below if you wanna check it out. If not, it's all good. Now today, we had the packs, the packs come in, and we got a few new pickups, and of course, we got the early heat on deck. I know y'all already looking behind me. I know y'all already see it. Yes, the stack. A stack is finally in the building. Now, like I said, we got some new shoes and some new pickups, and if we're doing this, we cannot forget the real MVP of the unboxing videos, of course, the choir stand. And uh, yeah, real quick, just want y'all to see uh, see what we working with uh, today. See what we working with today. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. I'm gonna toss these right down there and let's go ahead and get into it. First up, we don't need choir stand for this, but I did have a couple uh, T pickups. Now I know as of late, I have not been heavy on the clothing pickups and that's just because uh, COVID, I've been chilling in the house and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it's been real dad life out here and I be going outside looking crazy. So if you see me and I'm looking crazy and I'm holding Cairo, you know. Anyways, this first pickup was a vintage joint from eBay. And when I tell y'all fire, whew, I showed this off on Twitch. The Finesse Gang over on Twitch has already seen this, but this Ernie Irvin joint, Yates Rocket, this is a brand, well, it's not brand new, but I mean, the graphic, it almost looks like a brand new tee. This is one of the craziest vintage tees I have to date. And I think I picked this one up for about 60, it was like 50 or 60 bucks, which in my opinion is a steal because this tee right here, I mean, come on, bro. The Yates Rocket, you got the car landing in, the star, bling blown in the background this is definitely like a hundred dollar tee in my opinion at least so to get it for 60 I thought that was a good deal and um, yeah a little bit of a vintage pickup for y'all I know I still need to do a thrifting video and I will I have been checking the thrifts on and off and it's just been a little bit dry lately now in addition to this fire right here I actually did have these two tees come in as well now I got these from Boneyard Chicago and it did take a little while, but since it took longer than they expected because of a uh, factory mishap, they actually sent me over two different tees. So I got two for the price of one. So shouts out to them. And inside of here was their like Boneyard Chicago Dennis Rodman tee. It is a UV activated tee up front. Got the Rodman tattoo with the Boneyard and then the back. The hair on the back does change. All of this white does change to a random color. So you actually don't know what you're gonna get. And um, it's actually dark outside right now but just know it is uv activated and i did not just get one like i said i actually did get two so tomorrow i'm gonna have to go outside and check uh which colorways did i get but i thought it was a tough tee so loosen them boys over at boneyard chicago got the two for one deal on those now let's go ahead and get into some of the sneaker pickups now of course we do have this box which is I mean, this is the early pack. We got the double pack in right here. That's the two piece right there. But I did manage to pick up two shoes on Nike sneakers via a restock. Both of these are two pairs of Jordans. Some of y'all may know that they did do a Jordan Reserve restock and I was able to actually pick up two pairs. I did go in for three, but you know, I hit two for three on the field. It's, that, that's pretty good for me. So the knife, yes, the knife is here. We are ready to go. First box. I'm not sure which is which, but we about to find out right now. And I already see the top of this box. So I think I know which pair this is. Bling, blau, flip it open. That retro air Jordan box. Is there a receipt inside of here? Nope, no receipt came in the box. Now these right here retail for 185 and some of y'all may already know exactly what's in this box. And again, uh, for retail, some easy one on sneakers, cop them up easy, why not? Probably gonna end up using these for some trade baits in the uh, probably distant future, but this is the Concord 
bread the 11 loaves and y'all know i'm not the biggest fan of 11 loaves so like i said this will be um some trade bait in the future for something that i really want it's not a bad shoe but i just feel like anytime it is a low i just wish it was a mid this will be a way better shoe if it was a mid top just off rip but it's summer y'all know how the summer goes they're gonna start dropping these 11 lows and even though i probably would have missed on release date they did go ahead and bless us once again with a quick restock on these boys y'all let me know down below did y'all grab these when they drop i try not to like shit on 11 lows but um yeah y'all kind of know how i feel so that was the first one i just noticed that it's leather up here instead of the mesh i mean they straight you know what i mean they're okay it's an 11 low it's the summertime they're black red and white okay that's an easy sell for jb i get it you know why not but i also was able to get this joint right here and this was actually a double up. So if I would have missed on the release, this would have been a pretty solid pickup after the fact for retail. But this is another one that will be used for trade bait in the distant future. Listen, there's new drones that come out every week. And it seems like whatever it is, it's it's selling out. It could be some Basuda for sure, but if it's a decent looking Jordan to most people, they are going to be going for it. And inside of this box, we have another jordan jumpman logo of course we take these bad boys out the box and um this was one of my best shoes of 2020 so far these retailed at 200 of course the new nike air boxes you guys can see y'all see the label gold jordan jumpman y'all probably read the title already and seen what they are you flip the box open and you have another pair of crispy crispy ds fire red air jordan 5 still one of the best sneakers in my opinion so far of 2020 especially with the nike air treatment where it is right here on the lace lock and of course they got the nike air on the inside of the guts i'm just checking over them real quick to make sure i ain't get like a bum pair nothing like that but they're looking they're looking pretty solid this to me is definitely one of those must cop sneakers for 2020 they just did a good job and y'all know i was kind of hating on that toe shape at first it was kind of looking in the photos but on feet trust me these are very very proper so those are just two quick pickups these are the restock joints and hopefully in the future i'll be able to use these to get something that i you know i'm gonna miss out on some shit on sneakers y'all already know how that goes for me listen sneakers sneakers don't like me and it don't like a lot of y'all either but we always go in and try to see if we can get that retail dub now, these two shoes right here, I definitely did not pay retail for at all. But one of them in particular, I'm really, really glad that I kind of just went ahead and copped them at the price I paid because I actually paid for less than the resale is right now. So, I mean, it's a win in my book. I tried for the shoe and... Uh, yeah, we just finished talking about Nike sneakers, so I'm pretty sure y'all can guess how that went. So I'm going to talk about the one that just dropped first. Okay, y'all see, it's two it's two things going on. Like I said, this was a two-piece, and as soon as I take out that box, I mean, y'all already know what's going on. Another must-cop of 2020. I wish I could have got a pair of retail, because I, I kind of said I, I might double up on it, but uh i paid enough for these and uh, we're probably just gonna be one pair no double up for me but i did get these ones in a size 12 shouts out to the homie gerardo for you know hooking it up for me and making sure i didn't go through 2020 without this pair the co jp tokyo air jordan ones look at the silver the silver surfer toe silver surfer swoosh silver surfer back here on the heel now to anyone who's not in the sneakers this is gonna sound weird but these kind of got the these take me back to the, like 2006 2007 when i caught them stealth fives that's he's got that stealth five vibe to him that's what the smell is like is it a problem that i remember what the stealth five smelled like when i bought them i mean possibly but hey fuck it you know what i mean it is what it is so yeah i was actually able to grab these uh no thanks to sneakers and i just went ahead and jumped on them because y'all know how badly i wanted this pair of air Jordan ones and the silver box is just a super super nice touch on this shoe i mean what do i need to say code jp on the inside i just noticed that these actually come with a, a rope lace instead of a regular like flat air Jordan one lace i like that the leather on the tongue some people weren't really digging the leather tongue but to me i mean it, it don't really bother me at all so yes back from 2001 19 years later 
I got the math right this time, 19 years. 20 minus 19, 2001, okay, don't, y'all check me last time, okay, I got it right. But yeah, these were an absolute, absolute need and they are now in the building. I don't have to worry about them, I have them. I don't have the special case one because them joints cost a rack. I'm good, y'all can have the case. So now that we got these out of the way, just like I said, we do have some early heat and it just depends on who you ask. I kind of talked a little bit of shit already about this shoe, but it is inside of here and it is another Air Jordan 5 box. I take these bad boys out, blam, y'all see it? Cement print, Nike Air on the back and let's, let's peep them. Let's see how they looking in person. Flip the box open, peel, peel. Hmm, they, they not bad. I don't think they gonna make me say, oh, in hand, I think I like them, but they straight. And I mean, y'all already know what this is. This is the new reverse Bel Air Air Jordan 5. Uh, another, I think this one's gonna be another certified hood classic. The Bel Air print on the inside, on the guts, on the tongue, y'all see it. That neon lime green jump man on the back, if the lace would move there you go 23 as well and this shoe i will be dropping a review on very very soon i mean first impressions after just taking them out of the box um you know they're not as bad as i kind of made them out to be they're straight they do their job it's definitely a pretty crazy shoe and it's kind of muted by the upper the upper kind of calms it down a bit but there are some alternating colors on these you got the switches on the shark teeth the switches on the 23 on the side as well and on the inside the little shark tooth is different too and then they also come with these crazy lime green laces just in case you wanted to make sure these joints are loud and people see you Throw these joints in there and you are good to go. Even, oh yeah, I just noticed. Even the jump man on the back is different on both pairs. So the reverse Bel Airs, I mean, they cool. Is this something that I'm super crazy over? No, but I'm sure a lot of people cannot wait to go ahead and get their hands on these joints right here. And as always, man, I wish you guys good, good luck. Um, the jury is still out. After the on feet, we'll see how I'm feeling about these bad boys. And if I'm not like crazy, crazy form, because I ain't gonna lie, the head got, my head got cracked. Not past the white meat, but it got cracked just a little bit for these. I ain't gonna lie. But I know you guys wanna see the video. I know you guys wanna see the review. So I went ahead and grabbed them up and at least wanted to give you guys those looks at them. So yes, the Bel Air 5s are in the building or the reverse Bel Air 5s or the Ghost Green 5s are in the building and the review will be coming very, very soon. So listen, man, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like on this bit. I'll probably be live on Twitch when you're done watching this. So come through, say what's good. And um, that's it. Y'all let me know what was your favorite pickup of this video. Are you guys going to be going for these bad boys? Um, for me, it's definitely going to be the CoJPs. But that is it, man. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course, supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Twitch. The Twitch is BulletRC, by the way, here, there. Blah, 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 of course. Okay, we actually got, we got shoes this time. Okay. We got them. Y'all ready? Bullet RC and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I need to go ahead and get up out of here. We need to get that Twitch stream started. I need to go ahead and edit this video down. Y'all be easy. We are out of here. Much love as always. Peace. If you come here trying to take some, there's a lot more where that came from. And it really ain't no thing. I got some up here in this thing. I just dropped the jig in my Red Bull and it really gave me wings. Yeah, yeah, up and away. Y'all should have seen this shit coming in May. We're doing 300 records a day. Ooh.